journey to Olympic Gulf, last stop in Central America, having just crossed the border into Panama, and uh, the road trip, Mexico, Guatemala, El Salvador, Honduras, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, and now Panama. And what a visit to Costa Rica, just incredible time. Uh, first stop was the Four Seasons, Costa Rica, to celebrate the Thanksgiving holiday at Peninsula Papagano. It was an incredible experience. Obviously a Four Seasons sort of accommodation, hospitality, service beyond what you can imagine. But the golf course was spectacular. I got to play with the director of golf, Randall Vicaz, and uh, what, a, what a golfer. It was a Arnold Palmer signature course. It is an Arnold Palmer signature course. And Randall kills the ball. I think he's like 38 going on 22. Out drove me 60 to 70 yards every hole. And just a spectacular, spectacular golf course with all the views of the Pacific. And you gotta check out the videos, the interview with Randall, and also the general manager, Pasquale Floriti, was just so very accommodating. And what a uh, artistic sort of environment this four season is. Only one in the world to have a resident artist, Carlos Hilla, and also Felix Morello, had a gallery there in the dining room. Just a, a beautiful way take away an authentic Costa Rica home with us or on the road with us or with me but uh, just an incredible resort experience and then I drove up to San Jose and, and what can I say I played the San Jose Country Club the original I'm sorry the Costa Rica Country Club in San Jose the original course built in the country in the early 1940s Roberto Lopez was an incredible host. Got to see the clubhouse, see all the history, and play a, a, a tremendously sporty, challenging, good shot value golf course right in the heart of the city. And then I also got to play Cariari Country Club, a George Fazio 1974 design. And gosh, what, what another treat. It's hosted PGA Tour events in the late 70s. And Mauricio Zamora was my host there, the director of golf. This guy is tied into golf throughout the world. Does a lot in junior golf. Uh, was with Ledbetter in Florida for a brief time. Travels with the juniors all over Central America to wherever the uh, World Amateur Team Championships go to. Uh, just a great job. And then I got uh, to interview a really special guy. Mario Perez, who yesterday, at the age of 73, won yet another senior club championship at the most competitive club in all of Costa Rica. And he beat guys that were age 50 and older. And again, he was 73. He's the playing captain of the, uh, the Central America Cup team for Cagliari. And we just had a great discussion, like uh, Mauricio. And then I met the, the young gun of Costa Rica. Everybody who tells me Alvaro Ortiz is the best golfer ever to come out of Costa Rica. And I've heard that from several people, so I think it's got to be right. He went to Tulane, played, uh, or I'm sorry, he went to uh, Texas Wellesley and played collegiate golf, uh, turned pro, gave it a go on the South American tour, regained his... Uh, amateur status and I've lost track of how many championships he's won but something like 25 uh, country titles I mean just just incredible and again I got an interview with all those details so what can I say about Costa Rica the rich coast I'll tell you it's rich in golf history and I'll tell you another thing I stayed at uh, another real intercontinental right in downtown San Jose what a treat. Uh, Real Intercontinental has really sponsored me for the last two weeks. I started with them in San Salvador, El Salvador. Went to Tegucigalpa, Honduras with them. Went to Managua, Nicaragua. And just had a wonderful stay in San Jose. So I thank everybody. Um, I'm excited.
excited to be 